There's something over here. Welcome. Would you care to try this outfit on? Do you have something more formal? This Bernheim original is ideally suited for an evening at the opera or the ballet. The simple, elegant lines of its design conform to Thank the... you. It's a bit too formal. I'll just browse. Esto es trabajo de secretaria, y yo no soy secretaria. Here you are. Boy, oh boy. Don't you just love those tech confiscation reports, huh? Yeah, but I'd be happy to share, Jake. Well, now, one thing I've learned is you never want to step on someone else's fun, you know? Just one question. If we're partners, why is it that I get all the groundwork? Well, see, Sam, it's like this. Seniority. Oh. See, I'm senior. You're a junior. Uh, you are a generous man, Mr. Seniority. <laughs> Jake? Sharon Neville. Don't look so surprised. Been a long time. <laughs> this is the last place I'd expect to see you. Mm. You haven't changed. Neither have you. So, uh, what brings you down to my neck of the woods? I want to report a murder. Whose? Mine. Scan, match. Hair, height, weight, and epidermal pigmentation, all perfect matches. Ditto on the finger and palm prints. She's a professional identity double. Body implants, retinal sculpting, fingerprint replication. She's practically a double of Sharon Neville. And from the spectrograph micro scars, I'd say this isn't your first makeover. Seventh. I've spent my whole life being other people. Well, who are you when you're just being you? That's confidential. But for now, you can call me Sharon. You're not Sharon. Jake, take it easy. 
Hey, you two may be convinced, but I'm not buying this in face value. Sharon told me you were a tough customer. In April 2025, you sprained your ankle in Echo Park. Sharon Bennett stopped, helped you over to a bench. That's when you asked her, do you believe in love at first sight? All right, that's enough. And Sharon said, not until now. Jake, she's got memory implants. You know everything Sharon knows? No. My memory is a patchwork of feelings and images. There's a lot I don't know. So why'd she hire you? Normally, identity doubles are used in special security situations. Why? Her husband is Bob Neville, the police commissioner. She's got plenty of protection. Not from him. You care to elaborate on that? Neville's dirty with tech. Sharon hired me to decoy his security guard so she can get away from him. I was never crazy about the guy myself, but he's got a rep for being a clean cop. You got proof that he's dirty? Sharon knew about a huge tech deal going down tomorrow. She was trying to get the evidence to you when Neville had her killed. What evidence? I cannot access that memory. Why not? She not paying you enough? Sharon did not give me that memory. She trusted that to no one. Stay here. Jake, where are you going? Fishing. Sharon was his first love, wasn't she? And he was hers. Space is this small. The human need for an office space commensurate with an individual status is something I do not require. A three foot workspace is more than satisfactory. Well, you're gonna make some lucky lady want a hell of a husband. What is it you want, Cardigan? Well, maybe I just missed your pretty face. Once again, you are wasting my time. The word is it's a big tech ship and hit the streets in 24 hours. I have no reports to that effect. From whom did you acquire this information? Liable source. If you are unwilling to disclose that source, there is no purpose to this discussion. What if I told you that it involves somebody here at Metro? That is highly implausible. Six months ago, Commissioner Neville created the Metro Intelligence Squad. Metro Intelligence? <laughs> That's a contradiction. The MIS is an anti-corruption unit consisting of nine elite officers. Since its inception, Metro has been purged of 17 corrupt officers. Well, I feel safer already. Eliminating corruption has allowed us to focus on combating other crimes. The results, homicide is down 14%, cyber theft is down 18%, tech seizures are up 19%. Keep it up, you guys are gonna be out of work. The commissioner is doing an outstanding job in every statistical category. It's not are you bucking for a promotion, Lieutenant? Winger, how goes the Butler case? Any arrests? Two, Commissioner Neville. Expecting three more today. That's what I like to hear. Jake Cardigan. Come by to check out your old stomping grounds? Uh, just swapping a few old war stories with Winger here. You people at Cosmos need anything, call my office. We're happy to help. I appreciate the offer. Well, termination was a blow to us, Jake. I'm delighted you've landed back on your feet at Cosmos. We're all rooting for you. Hey, uh, <clears throat> give my regards to your lovely wife. Of course. I yeah, hope she remembers your name. I need everything that you've got on a nine-man task force. It's called MIS. Those are Metro cops. That's going to cost you. Well, here's 5,000 credits, which also buys You Never Saw Me, I Was Never Here. Here's looking through you, kid. Spaz! <laughs> You got a bark that could wake the dead, girl. As long as it wakes you. Plug me in. Okay, watch your step. Some heavy-duty security on these clowns. That's what makes it interesting. What'd you get us into, Macha? Walk on the wild side, so stay awake. Here we go. Federal, state, local, schools, law enforcement. 
Onto the mainframe, hold on. I'm in. Sub robbery, sub homicide, sub tech. Special units. Whoa. That's a major flame wall. Can you get through it? Stasi, give me a power surge. Juice Joel, coming up. Now put me out of phase. Just give him the waves any lower, you'll be sleeping with the fish. Bypass that sucker. Now what was it? MIS? That's right. Here we go. Nine files. Open. And shut. Hmm, that's interesting. What? No password required. Wide open documents. Aw, oh, what a letdown. These cops are all pristine. You sure about that? Clean as a baby. Whoa, cyber fuzz of four o'clock. Give me some frequency modulation. I'm modulating now, but they're closing fast. Fudge, this was a speed trap. What are you doing? Folding the tent. Spaz, unhook the L5. There's no time. Just grab the rig and bolt. Oh, you spotted a train? Absolutely. And they'll be here in two minutes. Just grab something. And you might want to find out why six cyber cops are patrolling a clean file. Neville checks out clean. Too clean. Appearances are deceiving. Oh, who would know that better than you? You still don't trust me, do you? Well, I got a lot of questions. You don't have a lot of answers. I told you everything you need to know. Then maybe I'm not the right guy for the case. Why not? Because I have a history with your client. I'm not so sure I can get past it. Of course you can. Hey, don't push me, okay? I thought you cared about Sharon. I do. But do you? It's my job. Well, maybe not anymore. Not if you're right about your client and she's dead. That's not the way it works. This isn't just a morph mask I throw on to look like my client. I become my client. And you get paid a bundle to do it. Yeah. And I earn every single credit. I give up my life to take on a part of hers. I have some of her memories. Ambitions, her feelings. What happens to her happens to me. When she died, part of me died too. I can't let her kill her walk away. Do we have company? Yeah, a couple of guys at the entrance. Get ready to hit the deck. instead of me. I didn't want to put you at risk. Oh, since when? Look, Neville's got about a half a dozen cyber cops ready to push you down a hole. Oh, so now you're saying I can't handle the job. No, cowgirl got caught. Yeah, well, I don't get caught. That's why Baskin pays me to Megaplast. Well, excuse me for trying to protect you and this company. Excuse me. Get a chance to chat with our friend from the Aerodiner? No, and my guess is I'm not going to. The suspect you nailed has vanished in the pit of metro bureaucracy. What, they can't find him? Most likely they don't want us to find him. You transfer a suspect from one holding facility to another, and you can lose a prisoner for weeks. Great, our only suspect needs nowhere to be found? I'll keep looking. All right. He's not our only lead. What else do we have? Sharon. Or the piece of her I'm still carrying around in my head. The memory implant. Yeah, but I thought you said you don't remember anything about the evidence. On a conscious level, I don't. But any neurotransfer involves a certain amount of bleed. Traces of Sharon's subconscious are present in mine. You know, it could work. A session with the cortical scanner might release some detail she's not aware of. No way. Burn every synapse in your brain. It's a risk I'm willing to take. <sighs> what, do you have a death wish? There's no other way to shut down the largest tech deal in the city's history. We have less than 12 hours.
This is the part where I say, just relax. Fat chance. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do it. BP, heart rate, EEG, all in the green. Initiating cortical scan. Sharon, do you hear me? Jake. I want you to focus on your husband. I can't. Keep trying. Nothing on Neville. Concentrate. the evidence. Neville was in the tech. Where did Sharon hide? I don't know. Come on. Stay with her memories. Where did she put it? A safe place. Okay. Where? Concentrate. Where did Sharon go to be safe? in the city? Sharon Sanctuary. A place where she can be secure away from her husband. And a place she may have hidden the evidence you need. Thank you. Can you remember the address? Mm-mm. Wait. The Hallstone. It's a hotel. Cortical scam worked. Yeah, like gangbusters. The place is on Benita and Rogerton. Definitely the high rent district. Well, I guess I'll need a passport. No, you'll need me. I have Sharon's fingerprints and retinal patterns. Hey, Sam, how about taking another trip over to Metro for me? What have you got in mind, Jake? Uh, let's call it, uh, baiting the hook. Look, I was finding my own business, so should you. Leave me alone. Look, I told you to get off this. Hello. Present your records? No problem. And good health to you, too. I'm... Sam Houston, Cosmo Security. You're here to sign over confiscated tech. In a nutshell, yes. Is your tech confiscation report complete? Pure poetry. Is everything in order? If I had a problem, I'd tell you. Now move on. Winger, the first friendly face I've seen around this place. My face never alters. I mean, this place has the cordiality of the morgue. Cordiality is not a priority. The commissioner prides himself on efficiency. Really? Well, if this place is so efficient, why can't you tell me where the Aero Diner suspect is being held? The suspect you inquire about is... In transfer. Gee, Winger, how did I know that? Position the cameras there. I want a good shot of the officers who do the work. They're the ones who deserve the credit. The tech chips go over here, put the vaporizer here. The tech being atomized is an image the public will remember for a long time. That's it for now. Sam Houston. It's good to see you. Thank you, sir. I hope you're staying for the press conference. We're vaporizing 10 million credits worth of tech on National Tribid. Very impressive. I don't want you to think we're hogging all the credit. I count on you people at Cosmos. Oh, we do our best. It's going to be quite a clam bake. The press will be here, even the governor. Why don't you get Bascom down here? I haven't seen the sly dog in months. <laughs> I've never seen him. <laughs> 
Remember, Houston, you're always welcome back on the home team. Uh, that was quite a pep talk. The commissioner has a great deal of pep. Due to an Adway malfunction, there is a 12-minute delay in the northern quarter. Shall I plot an alternate route? Go ahead. What's our new ETA? It will take you 18 minutes to reach the Hallstone. The Hallstone? Oof. Those co-ops go for at least a million credits. Try two. Sharon was an uptown girl. Did that bother you? No. The only thing that ever bothered me about her was her parents. They'd do anything to keep us apart. Like the time they took her away to spend the summer on the Arizona coast? You know about that? Mm-hmm. Boy, I hitchhiked cross country to be with her that summer. 4,000 kilometers on the back of a turbo bike. <laughs> what love will put you through. I got there, I was covered with grime, head to toe. Bet you look good in grime. Some say. Turbo bikes kick up a hell of a dirt tail if you push them from zero to 40 in anything less than five. How would you know? I was born to ride. <laughs> you ever been to Misto Dunes? Kid stuff. If you want a real rush, check out Grazer Mountain. Been there. On what? XT Sonic with a hydraulic turbine. Sonic cycles use fusion turbines, not hydraulic. If you want to go Sonic instead of turbine at Grazer, you must get out and push. That was a test, wasn't it? Maybe. Just want to see if you're on the level. Yeah, where'd you decide? You know about bikes. Positive you don't want to try another trick question on me? No, I think I'll quit while I'm behind. Adway traffic delay now clear. Increase velocity 2.5, please. Place look familiar to you at all? I think so. Bonjour, Madame Neville. Comment ça va aujourd'hui? Comme d'habitude. Uh, did you enjoy your holiday? Oh, it was perfect. Thank you. Can I help you with your bags? They were misplaced at the aero station. Quel dommage. This is my brother. I don't think you've ever met. Well, my first time in town. At your service. Give my best to Jacqueline. <laughs> Look, you know how to speak French. I don't. I have no idea what I just said. But Sharon speaks French? Nika must have stirred every subconscious memory cell in my brain. Oh, she's the best. Does look right? Yes. I remember the view. Stinking drunk. That night he beat her black and blue. Couldn't be. Well, they're the perfect couple. They look like the perfect couple. Really used to beat her, huh? Last time I saw her, she had an enormous bruise on the side of her face. AI unit. Hello, Meg. Good afternoon, Mrs. Neville. You're back from your trip three days early. I couldn't miss Mary Lane Haskell's wedding. She never forgive me. Would you like me to prepare tea for you and your guests? That won't be necessary, thank you. I'm Jay Cardigan, uh, Mrs. Neville's security specialist. Hello, Jake. Nice to see you. This is an interactive program. If you're watching this, I must be dead. Did my identity double bring you here? Yes, we were able to access her memory. Good. I'm glad you trusted her. Well, I didn't have much choice. There's so much I want to say to you, Jake. I never stopped thinking about you. Never stop loving you. I don't know if I believe that. 
I know there are no second chances. You must hate me for the choices I've made. But please, Jake, you've got to stop my husband. How? There's evidence in the wall safe. Access, please. The security system needs a retinal scan match for my identity double. Activate the scan. Retinal scan match. Good. It matches perfectly. Where's the safe? Behind you. What are we looking for? A jewelry box. It's in the top compartment. Gave us to Sharon. Glad you remembered. I'll always be there for you. But I wasn't. It's nothing you could have done, Jake. There's something else inside. Tech chip? That's right. Take it and have it. No further access to the interactive program is permitted. Says who? My security override command. Meg, this is Sharon Neville. Confirm the retinal scan. The retinal match is insufficient. Verify the palm scan. The palm scan is insufficient. What the hell is this? A containment zone has been enabled. Meg, please release the force field. I am unable to comply, Mrs. Neville. This is a police override. Neville trapped us. We're not gonna hang around for him to come and collect his catch. Step back. Weapons discharge is not permissible in the containment zone, Mr. Cardigan. Which is great. Hey, isn't the Jane United consumer security system? Yeah, so? Well, there's got to be an emergency override. Good thought. What are you doing? We're trying to trigger the fire suppression system. Maybe that'll override the field. Yeah, and if it doesn't, we're going to choke to death. What, do you want to wait around for them to come pick up their catch? within the security containment. Emergency you personnel back to are out of this place? Yeah. Any word from Jake? Not even a grunt. What's real at Metro? Not much. Delivered the tech chips and ran into Neville. He makes me itch. <laughs> He's not my type either. So any word on our missing assailant? Mm, not a peep. Are you on your way in? No, I think I'll hover around Metro some more and see if I can get myself into a little bit of trouble. You sure we didn't make a wrong turn when we went down that manhole? Safest way back to Cosmos. Yeah, where exactly are we? Under the ad right in the service tunnel. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure are an expert on escape routes. I didn't know this one. Sharon did. Maybe she was planning on escaping through here. Yeah, maybe. Need to sit down? No. No, I'm fine. You gonna sit down or you gonna fall down? I guess I don't have much of a choice, huh? Losing my touch. I almost got us killed. Correction. I almost got us killed. Do you always take all the credit? Never learned to share. Is that why you haven't found a nice girl to settle down with? Well, I tried. I failed miserably. <laughs> you and Sharon would have made a wonderful couple. And back then, I would have agreed with you, but. Now I'm not so sure. We live in two different worlds, completely. So no regrets then? I don't like to talk about the past. But at least I've given you a chance to spend some time with her again, in the present. that for Sharon? No. I think I'm okay. I think I'm better than okay. Let's go. 
The additional security in the penthouse was supposed to confine any intruders. It didn't. Thank you for that lucid analysis. Did they get anything? They gained access to a high security hollow safe that even I couldn't get into any more stupid questions. I apologize, sir. Obviously, with Jay Cardigan around, the problem won't go away. I appreciate your insight. With all due respect, sir, his actions seem almost personal. Apparently, he knew your wife rather intimately. She had a taste for trash. The body was supposed to show up as Jane Doe. Cardigan's not gonna buy it. Then we'll have to change our plan. How? Haven't you heard? Cardigan murdered my wife. He's going back to the freezer to pay for it. Cowgirl is a farmhand next to me. Couldn't stay away, could you? I decided to forgive you. And you can start thinking now, because it took some real hacking. But until their records were scrubbed, the guys on Neville's Metro Intelligence Squad were dirtier than pigs in slop. Well, thanks for that lovely graphic description. And look at this. Every last member of MIS was the subject of internal affairs investigation. Well, I bet you those investigations were shut down quick, huh? Slates were wiped clean. What about the tech chip from the safe? Well, I'm working on it, but, you know, it's gonna take some time to analyze it. That's not what I wanna hear. Any word from my partner? I've got nothing you wanna hear either. The police found a body, and word is it's Sharon Neville. When did this happen? Moments ago. According to the report, the victim died of a massive tech overdose. Sharon didn't do tech. She never even tried it. Boy, this sounds like a frame-up. Yeah, well, the report isn't confirmed, so I think we should go check it out ourselves. All right, let's go. Keep working on that tech chip. No way. You gotta lay low. Like hell. Sharon was a target? That makes you a target. Comes with the territory. Sharon hired me to escape a husband who beat her and threatened to kill her. I was supposed to get her out alive. I didn't. Now you putting your life on the line, that's not gonna settle the account. We'll get into the truth, Will. Jake, I need to know what happened. And you will as soon as I know. Yeah, you gotta trust me as Sharon trusted you. You don't have to do this alone. I'm not. This is official police business. Yeah, well, this is personal. I'm sorry, I can't... your emotions. He murdered my wife. What the hell are you talking about? I know that it is difficult for you to function in a professional capacity, but we must adhere to procedure. Go ahead. Jake Cardigan, you are under arrest for the murder of Sharon Neville. We have an evidence, a tech headset with your fingerprints on it. There's an eyewitness who can testify. He saw you and Sharon enter the building. And there's vid tape from a security camera to substantiate his testimony. You're pathetic. No. You're pathetic, Cardigan. You lost Sharon to me 20 years ago. You never got over it, did you? Arrest him. Taking you down, Neville. Danger. Full system overrun. <laughs> I think I lost them. At least I don't see anybody behind me. I scrambled the police trace on your location. You and Sam qualified for sainthood. A long time ago. How's Sharon? She's wearing down the floor. Yeah, we'll keep her at Cosmo. She's still in danger. What's the news on the tech chip? Well, it's encrypted with a confiscation code from Metro, but it's a phony chip. So the police are confiscating phony chips? Oh. Well, who can say? But it is definitely from Metro's central confiscation facility. Well, I gotta get into that facility. Have you forgotten that you wanted for murder? And they're not gonna let you just waltz right in there. All right, well, just pass me through to Sam. Maybe she'd like to dance. 
You rang, my liege? Hey, you got any friends at the Central Confiscation Facility? Oh, one or two, but I'd like to keep them. Don't worry, you can always make new ones. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me, Officer Schuler. <laughs> no problem. I'm glad to help. You know, I feel like an idiot, but if I don't retrieve the evidence on this Grantham case, I'm history at Cosmos. <laughs> They're lucky to have you, Miss Houston. <laughs> you were one of my role models at the Academy. Oh? Your investigative work on the Connor case was inspiring. <laughs> Wow, now, is that the tech they're going to vaporize tonight? Yep. Commissioner Neville's incredible. Oh, he's something, all right. You could bet I'm gonna be watching when he throws a switch tonight in the Trivid. Oh, we'll all be watching. He's sending one loud message to the tech lords, I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, let's see, here we go. Now, was it GBN 85 or GBN 83? Um, if you don't mind offering advice to a rookie, uh, what do I need to be a great police officer? It's all in the timing. Take this, for instance. Cosmo's standard issue. What is it? Oh, it's a stun grenade. Now, you activate this too late and you're defenseless. You activate it too soon and you knock yourself out. It's all in the timing. Well, I haven't even seen one of those before. Oh, well, go ahead. Take a look. Why is it flashing? Oh, it can't be. It is. You activated it. I did? Pobrecito Schuler, but you'll be okay. I promise. Coast is clear. Here to scramble the brain of everybody from here to Yeltsingrad. Have a party. It's like the real thing. Nika. Man, it's about time. Well, I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Receiving the data, Nika? Oh, clear as day. The confiscation code is real, but the tech chips are phony. Just like the one you found in Sharon's safe. Gee, isn't that an interesting coincidence? So, how many more do you want me to scan? No, listen, we can't do them all, or we'll be here for the next five yeah, years. Yeah, forget procedure, okay? I'm making a bet. I'm betting that Neville switched the real tech for bogus chips. Which, of course, means that the only thing he's going to be vaporizing tonight is a bunch of blank chips. That's right. Looks like Neville's going into the tech business big time. Yeah, well, the question is where did Neville stash the real tech? Hey, Nika. Are you picking up a signal on that tech that Sam delivered to Metro this morning? I am zeroing in on it as we speak. So that's why you sent me back to Metro. You irradiated the tech with a tracer. Well, I told you I had good reason, didn't I? The tracer is indicating that the tech is underground. Well, Neville took the bait all right. He buried it? Not exactly. It's located in an Adway service tunnel two kilometers from where you are right now. He's using the tunnels as a distribution system. Well, that's one hell of a system. I mean, it goes everywhere the Adway does. How long before Neville's press conference? Less than an hour. Nika, where are they? What are they doing? Jake promised to keep me informed. And I'm sure he will. Stop playing games with me. If they're gonna come find Neville's goons, they're gonna need back. Jake will holler if he does. I can help. in the damnest places.
got the hot shot. They'll have a nice long time in the freezer to think about how sorry they are. Yeah, well, maybe not so long. Maybe they want to cop a plea. I'm gonna give you a second to catch your breath. Then you make up your mind. Yeah, Cardigan. Like, you could cut a deal for us. Well, maybe I can't. But I think Walter Bascom can. All right. I'll call Ringer. The battle against tech crime has been waged aggressively and relentlessly. Thanks to the Metro Intelligence Squad, we've arrested more dealers, distributors, and addicts than during any six-month period in our history. I waged this battle for you, the people. But now, sadly, it has a personal significance. I lost my wife, Sharon, to the madness of tech. This is for her. Liar. That tech is phony. What was that? You heard what I said? You and your MIS pals, you stole the real tech, and you replaced it with worthless replicas like this. this, guy? this man is crazy. Arrest him. No, we found the tunnel, we found the tech, Neville, and we stopped your shipment. I said arrest him. I think Governor Manning might want to hear me out. Oh, please. Let him speak. <sighs> the top-ranking law enforcement official in this city is a crook and a murderer. And we just busted your MIS pals. And they admitted that you ordered your wife's assassination. Turn off the cameras. No, no, you take those cameras down to the service tunnel, Saffron and Fifth, and put that on your six o'clock vid. This is ridiculous. I want this man arrested now. Release him. Mr. Cardigan is giving an accurate account of the facts. Shut up, Mac. You work for me. There are material witnesses and evidence to substantiate your arrest, conspiring to traffic in tech, and for the murder of Sharon Neville. Cuff him. It appears your hypothesis regarding corruption within the department was correct. You're welcome. Not any words. There it is. Take a good look at it. I'm gonna see plenty of these. Neville was convicted by a grand jury about an hour ago. Mm. Something tells me he won't be able to charm his way out of this one. Thanks to you. If I remember correctly, you had something to do with it. Maybe a little. It's my last assignment. I'm officially retiring. Well, congratulations. Time to start living out my own life. Why don't you start here? It's the best offer I ever had, but... But what? I need to figure out who I am under this. I think I know. It's just me. I won't be sharing anymore. I'm willing to take my chances. As long as you promise to come back. I promise. Okay. What if I don't recognize you? What's your real name? It's Mariana. It's a beautiful name. 